the goal of this human placenta workshop is to provide state of the art advances in human placenta research and provide them this unique experience of working with internationally recognized leaders in the field of placenta research and, and get them hands-on experiences with the placenta materials and provide them with knowledge in cellular and molecular advances. And I feel it's a really wonderful experience both for the faculty and the students because this is a situation where within a very compressed time frame you can learn basically a wide range of techniques and, and, and ideas about working with the placenta. And I don't think there's anywhere else in the world where this is really available. And I think one of the other things that's good is that the faculty is very interactive and we're very collaborative. We get along well with each other. Oh, thank you and, so much. and we want to impart that to the students, wow. the people who are our future for placental research. So that's one of the other things that's been nice too. We've had over 150 students now during this period of time from 28 different countries. So you get a very international taste for, for what different people are doing. And, and there's no other experience that I'm aware of, at least for this particular field of research, where that can happen. I came here so that I could learn some of the cutting edge techniques in placental biology and meet the best in the field right now and the up and coming new faculty. Um, I'd have to say my favorite part was the placental perfusion lecture and lab. Um, I thought it was really interesting and I like that we got to see the fresh placentas and I also, it's something that I could potentially use in my own research so it was really good to um, learn more about that technique and how it's done. Uh, what we can do with our model is uh, take this placenta, uh, once uh, the baby's being born, the placenta is no more used, take this placenta and then perfuse it from both sides and then look at uh, uh, different effects uh, like uh, drugs that are transported from one side to the other or nutrients uh, that are transported or substances that the placenta produces and then releases into the baby or into the mother's circulation. Uh, all that is something that we can uh, investigate with this, with this model. And <laughs> We know a lot about the mother now, we know a lot about the fetus, uh, and uh, the placenta is becoming more and more uh, the focus of interest for research. And uh, students here um, would be great if they become familiar uh, with this model. Uh, not with everything, but that they understand what can it be used for, uh, so that they understand the potential, and then when they are going back home, uh, maybe have some input in their research group and see whether they might want to expand their research to this model. Um, well, my favorite part actually was the placental perfusion part. Um, we did, it was a, a lab experiment there where we actually got to cannulate the placentas. And I think that was really exciting because usually when you're in the lab, you're doing an experiment and you have like a time limit or you're, you know, stressed for time. But here we had ample time. We weren't doing an experiment, so we could actually practice our technique. And um, we had several people that were helping us out and they showed us exactly how to do it. And it was really good. We were also in groups um, with people that were more experienced with placental work. And then there was me and I wasn't really. So you, you get like a little mentor too. So that was really nice as well. So my favorite part has been learning about home mount um, immunofluorescence. So you can stain a whole villus tree without needing to do sort of a traditional uh, H&E staining and tissue preparation. So you can get a nice 3D image of the vasculature within the villi. Um, and it looks like a technique we could use um, in further research to learn more about the central structure. <laughs> so this is a great group of students. They're learning about um, trophoblast invasion. So they're doing invasion assays and they're learning about um, enzymes that are produced by invading trophoblasts. So they're doing zymograms. This is the assay that um, allows students to study production of enzymes by the trophoblast cells and invasion by trophoblast cells is an important aspect of placentation because um, in doing so the trophoblasts remodel the uterine vasculature and in doing so they ensure that uh, the placenta gets uh, adequate blood flow. So these are important tools that the students are learning. 
My, the favorite part for me uh, about this workshop has been the lab techniques, learning hands-on how to do things and all the new um, methodologies that I've learned. I think they're going to be very useful and I think that I'm going to definitely implement some of them when I get back to finish up my dissertation. Yeah, the deciduous are all good, so one, two, three deciduous. That's okay, you could use that as a control decidua. So I find the students particularly find this workshop valuable as not all of them have access to the first trimester tissues that this workshop uh, provides. Um, uh, the strengths of these models is that they um, provide uh, a window into the most active period of placental development. By term, a placenta has really done its job, it's stopped growing. The placenta grows the fastest in the first two trimesters of pregnancy uh, to be able to support maximal um, fetal growth in the last trimester. So. Getting an access to first trimester tissue is uh, essential if we're actually going to be able to target the mechanisms that underlie placental development. Well, basically, I thought it was a great opportunity to learn techniques that actually I'm not familiar with. I think also to meet people that are working in placenta but actually are doing things that are not related to my research. So yeah, basically I think it's, it's, it's more for learning techniques that I feel like I, I would need, especially for my future doing research. Uh, a lot. I think that the, the workshop have been amazing, and uh, but I really enjoyed the interaction with uh, the speakers. It's, we have very close interaction and uh, interaction with the international it's students. It's going to be the future yeah. contact for, for us. What this does is bring people from around the world, this course, and we have people from Africa, we have people from Southeast Asia, from South America, from North America, from Europe and they're all mixed together, so they develop a peer group. This is the next generation of scientists and clinicians who are going to be interested in the placenta. So they get to know each other face to face, but they get to see the senior staff here who are teaching and instructing in the course, who they can look to for letters of reference, look to for help and grant review prior to submission so they can ask advice from. And they also get the ability to meet deans and administrators who administer science. So I think that up and down as well as the horizontal networking is a key component of the course and something we find long-term uh, benefits the trainees who've taken it. So what I really liked about the workshop, um, in addition to um, the great lectures and, and the helpful lab work that we uh, were able to uh, participate in, um, the opportunity to meet people from all over the world, the, the, the researchers um, and the students, um, was an invaluable opportunity that I, I don't think I would be able to gain in any other places. So the campus setting has been very nice here in Kingston. Um, we've had um, the, the benefit of the new medical school and uh, there's a beautiful atrium, very light with, with glass and um, a, a nice area to interact and so our breakfast and lunch has been in the atrium there and that's right outside the, the lecture theatre. Upstairs is the anatomy lab where most of the labs have been conducted. Across the road is the, the library and uh, another lecture theatre. So um, it's been just very nice and, and relaxing just walking over the road, walking down the road to backwards and forwards from the residence. Everything's been here for us to stay as a, as a group and faculty and the students have spent a lot of meal times and coffee times together just discussing science and life. Computing has become an integral component of any biological research now because most of the data that we are generating in any biological research has to do with a lot of numbers. And what I mean by numbers uh, is could be for a biologist, could be gene expression levels, could be copy number levels, could be microRNA levels or the methylation. So whatever data you generate out of different uh, profiling analysis is basically numbers that you get. So unless you understand those numbers, unless you use computer-based tools or computational tools to deal with those numbers, you would not be able to um, uh, make progress in uh, 
making uh, big discoveries out there <laughs> or advancing the research. Uh, there's been a lot of speakers, most of whom are extremely interesting and it's not just that their research is interesting, it's how they think about things and how they explain the process of actually doing an experiment and setting up a study is very informative. Somewhere between 20 and 40 percent of our prison population are uh, individuals with an FASD. So the whole, uh, the courts are struggling with this problem. Uh, these are individuals that are not going to understand why they're being sent to prison. They are not going to understand what it is that they did wrong. Uh, and they are not going to benefit from being behind bars. But that's where they're going. What I was hoping to uh, convey to the students today is, is how a research program can go across multiple levels, how it can use uh, basic science to address important questions that uh, or provide information that becomes useful then in, uh, in the clinical populations that, uh, that, that we're, we're trying to improve healthcare in. I think the field of reproductive biology has not had enough um, bright young scientists um, uh, truly engaging in the topic of reproductive sciences, specifically applied to perinatal biology, fetal embryonic development. And I think there's no better way than such a course to truly stimulate the uh, mind and the, uh, and the energy of young people to uh, engage in intense research in the field of perinatal biology and the understanding of how yes, pregnancy may shape human development, uh, not only during pregnancy, but also beyond. It's been a very intensive week for the students. They've started most days at half past eight, and um, they've still been going at 8.30 in the, in the evening. I think they've had a chance to find out about different aspects of reproductive sciences and what's going on in different centers. Oh yeah, okay. To talk to people at different career stages and to get advice oh, from faculty. Beautiful. Oh, those are inflammatory cells. That's beautiful. It's a chance to step back and think about where's my career going? What skills do I need? What experience do I want? Where do I want to work? Do I want to go towards this disease or is there an area of science that I need to, 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 to enhance my training in? So, so the, you know, this is a, a, an environment in which they're, they're immersed in science, but they're also stepping away from the, the daily routine. I've learned a lot. I thought within a week, almost everything about placenta has been taught. It's amazing. I like it. It's good. And I recommend this to all my friends back home in Ghana to come and also look at it again next year. Participants in this workshop come from all different backgrounds in um, directly working either with placenta or may not be working with placenta but they have common interest and they want to strengthen their knowledge in the field of placenta research. Their educational background ranges from PhD level students to early postdoctoral levels to early faculty levels to some of the senior fellows we had uh, at the senior faculty levels. So it is our goal to educate people not necessarily only in North America but all over the world and we probably are the only center in North America doing this human placenta workshop, uh, very specifically dedicated to placenta research.